My last battle of round one is against Yowzers. He won the Ultra League division last time, so that's already intimidating. And then he's got like Swampert, Clefable, and Melmetal, which are like real powerhouses. Swampert especially beats, I think, my whole team other than Tangrowth. So I knew right away that most of what this is going to be about is making sure that I get Tangrowth against the Swampert. I did think ahead of time that he probably would be using Poliwrath, um, just because I have those three things weak to fighting on my team. But, spoiler alert, he doesn't, which is smart. <laughs> and I ended up not even using any of those three things, too. So, here I'm losing the lead. I did play um, against the PvP Poke Trainer, and the one game I played that was like Moltres versus Zapdos, I lost, and I was like, oh shit, I'm gonna have to figure out what to do. And I forgot to do that, so then I'm already trying to have, figure that out on the fly. Uh, I switched to Tangrowth, which actually does a lot better against Zapdos than you would think. Because I do resist the Thunder Shocks. And even though Drill Peck charges pretty quick, um, so does Ancient Power. So, you know, that's, that's something. It's not the end of the world. I don't shield this Drill Peck because I'm... Um, kind of just want to see how much it's going to do. It's a lot, but it's not so much that um, it's going to knock me out so I can get the Sweden power off, and I'll probably be able to get another one if I shield later. So he shields this, so now he's out of shields. I decide I'm not going to shield this one, just because it would be nice to have that shield for later in case of emergencies. <laughs> Go to Tina. I'm not going to shield the Drill Peck, because I know it'll do some damage, but not too, too much that I can't handle it. And I've got my Ancient Power ready here. Man, I love Ancient Power. That's like... On... I guess technically this whole lineup ha could have Ancient Power, although I was using the Overheat version of Moltres. I do get the boost. But against Clefable, that's still not my favorite, so I switched to Moltres, which is honestly kind of a risky, risky decision. So now he's got Dragonite, which doesn't have Waterfall, has Dragon Breath, so that's at least a little bit better for me, because Waterfall would have been bad news. Sky Attack actually hurts him a lot, so that works for me. Now I want to keep this Moltres alive, just because it does well against Clefable. So I shield this, I think it's Crunch, yes it's Crunch. And I, here I was like debating, like, do I try to farm him down? Oh no, those dragon breaths are doing a lot. So I decided, okay, you know what? I'm just going to do this sky attack to play it safe because it would suck to d like die here with a ton of energy. <laughs> I missed one bubble, but that's okay. Now I have another sky attack ready, which is great. This is basically a pretty, pretty good situation. Although I still have a decent amount of HP to work through on the Clefable. And my Giratina doesn't have that boost anymore. And it also doesn't have that, that much health, and especially considering like how much those charms do. But I do get this Ancient Power, which is not quite enough, but it's enough that I'm able to Shadow Claw him down. So at this point, I have won one game, and this is actually enough for me to win the whole first round of my division. Um, I think so. I, I, I checked last night just to see, like, worst case scenario, would I still, like, win the round? And I think because he, Yowzers did lose a match, um, even if I lost this one, our, like, win-loss record of individual games would work out that I would still win. So that was kind of nice here. But, I mean, I still want to win the match if I can. It'd be kind of cool to go undefeated. So... Next game, I decide I'm going to stick with that Moltres lead, and he sticks with a Zapdos lead. I was considering switching to Giratina, but I was like, no, just stick with, uh, just make him show you that he can beat what you just did. So, switch to Gyarados this time. Do, 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 hit that Ancient Power. And this time, I also get a boost, which felt awesome. So, I'm feeling pretty good about this, because... Even though um, Tangrowth isn't like invincible or anything, it's tanky enough that, especially with the boost, I can kind of work through a lot of his team. So here I just farm him down. Now whatever he comes out with, I have 
an ancient power ready for. Maybe a power whip. Actually, no, I think I'd probably do an ancient power no matter what, just because of the fact that he has two shields. Here, I begrudgingly shield, um, just because I have so little HP. I don't, I feel silly sometimes, but I mean, I have that ancient power ready, and if he doesn't shield it for whatever reason, it's going to really hit hard. Just because of that uh, ancient power boost I had. So he blocks that, and oh, I have another ancient power ready to go. Man, a lot of ancient powers today, huh? Love it. So I did do, like, some practice for um, this battle. I practiced with my friend Kevin, thanks again. Did some PV poke trainer. Which I honestly don't super love, because it seems to make kind of insane lineup decisions sometimes. But anyways, that ancient power just knocked out the Zapdos. And all oh, those charms do too much. I can't just, like plow through the whole team with Tangrowth, but I'm in a pretty good spot because I'm up two Pokemon, one of which is Moltres, and I have a shield, so it's going to be fine. If I was in a spicy mood, probably wouldn't shield this move here, but like, yeah, no, I'm, I'm going to shield that. Me as well. Just get that overheat in and end the battle. And what I've been doing seems to be working well enough, so for the third battle, I just stick with that same lineup. That nice, fun Moltres lead. Moltres, god, I love it. It's been, like, my favorite to use this first round here. Big surprise. I haven't had too much Ultra League experience before this, but it's... Moltres being so fun was a very, very fun surprise, considering it's, like, my sixth pick. So Moltres versus Zapdos again. Let's switch to Tangrowth, see what he does this time. He switches to Gyarados again. I've got the Ancient Power ready. If I was like insanely lucky, I would get this boost again, but I don't, I don't think I do. Yeah, no, I didn't. Blocks it. Then he had like this weird leg. But it ended up being okay. I love when you get like the double loading circles. Another ancient power. That was just, yeah, man, I love ancient power. It's a fun time. So I do block this just because um, I think I can definitely get off some more ancient powers. He does have shields, so I can like even farm a little bit. Um, and also because, just because of like how extremes and matchups are with our two teams. I just really like to have switch advantage. Basically, it just made so much sense to keep um, Tangrowth in there. Especially considering those Dragon Breaths could do a lot to Giratina, so, you know. I do shield that because I know I can get to another Ancient Power. It's pretty hard. And then I considered switching, but I didn't. I'm gonna have to faint here, but that's fine. Yeah, I was thinking of switching to um, Curatina already, but I don't know, like, I don't always want to lose the switch advantage. This is actually okay for me. This is the first time I've seen this Swamp Root, which lives in my nightmares for however many weeks this has been already of this uh, competition. So this is like the last game of round one, but there are four rounds in total, so I'm going to be making these videos for a while still, so. So Earthquake doesn't, it does a lot of damage, but I'm okay. I switch here because I know that now Swampert's starting with zero energy and I can take a Hydro Cannon. I probably would have still, actually, maybe I needed to do the switch. Maybe if I didn't do the switch, he would have been able to, yeah, I can like barely survive the Hydro Cannon, but I remember looking up how much damage it would do. And being like, okay, if it, if it comes to it, I can take a... Oof. Okay, well, I guess it was... A, man, if I didn't get the um, excellent there and it ended up like actually costing me the game, that would have felt so silly. Here, um, he's going to do a drill pack, which is still going to do some decent damage to me, but I've got the Dragon Claw ready, so um, I'm okay. 
And I guess that's it then. So, um, that's round one. I was undefeated. Feels kind of cool. Turns out I like Ultra League a lot. Yeah. Oh, and before I get called out on it, here's some gecko content. Chelly on my finger. Then here he's perched on a little vine. And then the last one, I am actually hand feeding him on a chopstick. So I put like his food on there and he looks it off and it's very cute. Yeah.